Okay, what I want to do, I'm going to assume that, that you feel pretty comfortable with these functions that change pictures. Um, and all I want to do is I just want to talk about how you run these things. So look at this quad blue function for a minute. What I really want you to do is pause this video for a minute and just go through the code and say, yeah, this makes sense to me. Um, so I'm going to assume you're done pausing and you've read the code now, right? If not, pause. Okay. So if you look at this function, nothing in the parentheses, so no arguments, right? No parameters. Um, so this is a function that if we want to run it, we just say quad blue, right? And we hit enter and it's got to pick a file in there. So maybe we pick the horse bridge picture and it explores our before picture and it explores our after picture. And if you look, it worked, it's great. And that's pretty easy to use. Um, and by the way, look, we had 191 there for blue, 255, because of course we never go over 255. If you take something that's darker, like this pixel here, we can see it really is multiplying it by four. So that's at location 83 and 244. And the blue here was 19. The blue here is 76. If you do 19 times four, you get 76. So it looks good. All right. That's pretty easy. That's just running a function that takes no arguments. What people seem to be getting a little bit confused about is what do I do if I'm running a function that, um, that does in fact take an argument, right? So, so this function here, um, the modify red function. So pause for a minute and just look at this. Okay. So pause. Are you pausing? Okay. Good. All right. So having looked at this function, you can see that this function actually has two arguments. And it takes these two arguments, it takes a picture and it takes um, a value of my multiplier, which I'll tell you is going to be a float and multiplies every pixel by that multiplier. And the thing that people seem to be getting confused on is how do I call this function? So let me just show you. I mean, what you want to do is you want to say modify red, but then you got to put something in here, right? So you need a picture to pass in as an argument. So what we're going to do is uh, we need to, in our command area, open up a picture so that we have a box in the command area. So if you imagine our command area scrap paper, right now we don't have anything on our command area scrap paper, right? And what we really need is we need a picture in here and we need um, a uh, maybe a multiplier so we can pass that into our function. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, um, I don't know, motor file gets pick a file, right? And I'm going to pick the blue motorcycle picture. So if I print motor file now, you'll see it's this big age classes, blah, blah, blah. All right. So I can, you know, paste in here. Now I have a box called motor file, right? I ran pick a file. I put the answer into motor file. Now I have a box called um, motor file and inside of motor file, I've got this giant thing that you can't see the whole thing of. Sorry. Oh, well, you get the idea, right? Um, at the very end of it, it's got Bloom's motorcycle.jpg. Okay. So that's what motor file is. That's a box. All right. And then I'm going to say, I don't know, motor pick gets make picture of motor file. You're used to this, right? Um, and if I explore motor pick, that's going to do exactly what you expect it to do, right? It's going to pop up this picture of the blue motorcycle. And over here, you have to kind of imagine that we've got another box called motor pick, right? And in there, there's a picture of a motorcycle, right? And it looks like a very happy motorcycle. So imagine that this picture is just this, right? Motor pick is in my command area, right? This is my command area. And in my command area, I've now got two boxes. I've got a box called motor file that has a string in it. I've got a box called motor pick that has a smiley face in it. Actually, it's a picture of motorcycle. Okay. All right. So there's my, there's my motorcycle picture. So now I can either make another box that holds a number in it, or I can just pass in a number. So now I can run modify red. And I have to give it my picture, which is called motor pick. And I have to give it a value, a multiplier. Let's say I want to multiply this by, I don't know, a quarter. I want to, I want to reduce to one quarter the red pixels, every single red pixel in my image. 
Remember when I run this, because motor pick is an object, it's one of these pictures, that my pick is actually going to be an arrow out, right, to, to my motor pick. If you don't remember that, go watch an earlier video about passing pictures as arguments. So anything that I end up doing to my pick in this function actually will result in changes made to motor pick. So when I run this, you can see this going back and forth, so lots of work is happening. Nothing gets explored because we didn't tell to explore it in here. But if I explore my motor pick here now, wow, look at the difference, right? You can see that every pixel got reduced to a quarter. So um, the red here is 73, the red here is 18, and if you just divide 73 by 4 and you look at the integer division, you'll end up with 18, right? Um, so that's about it. Hope that helps.